Hey guys, Zerka here and welcome back to my meal career mode series and it's been a while since I uploaded this, I've been pretty uh, busy, I had a pretty busy weekend uh, first of all and uh, initially I was going to upload this episode, this episode has been made probably since uh, Friday or Saturday and I actually recorded the commentary over it, did the whole 10 minutes in one take and I realised I was recording with the wrong microphone, the microphone I was actually recording with it was a microphone that was across the room. I don't even know how I didn't realise that in the first place. I could still see, obviously, the free, like the wavelengths that are moving up. Uh, so I, I, thought, I knew it was recording, I just didn't know it was like that quiet. So I, it was completely unusable. I didn't have time to re-record the whole 10 minutes again. Nor did I want to really re-record the whole 10 minutes again. Um, and then throughout the weekend, I went out and recorded a video for KSI's channel, which is up on his channel now. Um, and uh, we went out on that Saturday night and we went to a funky bit of nightclub. Uh, in Mayfair, uh, me, KSI and a few others and uh, on Sunday I, I chilled at uh, Calyx's apartment and uh, so obviously since then I've been uploading my Ultimate Team series which I've been trying to get into a bit more and get some of that recorded and I'm going to try and I'm going to just try and just look about just about learning how to balance the time between uh, both career mode, Ultimate Team and then as well as then additionally adding in my second channel because I really want my second channel to start doing well I want to start playing some different games on my second channel I've been playing some uh, some Trials Evolution and some random maps on that and uploading that so if you want to subscribe to my second channel uh, there's always a link in the description as always there's always always a link to the, in the description there's always a link at the end of the video as well um, so that's uh, all the pointers out there I think I believe that's everything uh, yeah so we're going to go straight into this episode and I'm going to actually talk about what's going on so you can see we're playing against Norwich um, now I believe we played Norwich twice uh, in this episode alone, once in the Premier League and once in the Cup. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this is the actual Premier League game. You can see we're winning 3-0 uh, by the time it's 44th minute. I think Benzio scores his second goal there uh, with that nice header that was crossed into him. And uh, it's, it's strange, Benzio's a strange one. Um, he's a player where you guys have said that his heading stats aren't too good. I, haven't, I still haven't checked them. Uh, but for some reason, he always seems to score headers for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's his attacking position or something. Uh, Vidal goes on a nice run here. A bit of a skill run, a bit of an ultimate team run, so to speak. Uh, something you'd see in a compilation. Um, no, it's free. Also, another interesting point about compilations there. And I'm definitely contemplating making some again in the near future. I don't know if I'll leave it until FIFA 14. Um, I have a fair few good goals from clubs. Now, clubs is a game mode that uh, I do tend to play a lot. Um, whenever I do, whenever I do play, I, I sometimes feel like I'm being unproductive, so I'm not doing anything on it. Um, so I've always tried to uh, kind of work out what kind of series I could do with regards to clubs, uh, like whether I would do a Road to Division One. I don't know if any of you watch KSI series, uh, Moy Leicester's, and they have their club, and they just he kind of just cuts up the funniest parts of them playing as they go on their run towards uh, Division One. So I maybe something similar like that. I may again hold it out until FIFA 14, because obviously FIFA 14 is like what four months away. Um, I guess it's still quite a long time to hold out a series for. We'll see. We'll see what the feedback is, and uh, we'll see what, how it, how I feel and how I manage. As long as I, first of all, I need to learn how to manage getting career mode out and ultimate team out every single day. I think once I've got that in the in like done and sorted, then I can work on other series and stuff. Um, so you see, we're literally demolishing uh, Norwich here, uh, and I believe Vidal uh, makes. I'm going to say five. But I don't want to get it wrong, and I'm not going to have to see here either because it's a substitution. So I do my uh, tool substitution as always towards the end of the game to get uh, some new fresh legs on. And I uh, see, so yeah, okay, that was the fifth goal. So that made it 5 1, uh, a very good all round result against Norwich, and uh, again, another result that's going to push us up that uh, table and keep us on that high point tally and in contention for the title. Uh, obviously, we're still not that far into the season, we're only in January. Um, Gone offer for a Corey here from Lille uh, for 8 million. Some like to call him Lille, but I think I believe it's Lille anyway. I call him Lille. Uh, so you see, you see, we're sitting here, we're sitting in second place, uh, only two points below Chelsea, who are top. Uh, you've got, also got Arsenal, Man City on exactly the same uh, points as us. Obviously, we're above those on goal difference. Uh, Liverpool on 41, so they've actually dropped down the table ever since uh, we beat them. Uh, May not had also below them as well. Uh, so going again into our second game of the episode against Norwich. Now, this game. I have a slightly weakened side because I had to, uh, due to the fitness, I think this game was like two days after the previous game against Norwich. Um, so a lot of my players were unfit, so like that's why I've got the coins up front, I've got a few other players playing as well. I think I've got Kabai in defence, which is a defender that I uh, got on a free agent, and he's actually like six foot seven. Uh, so he could be a good replacement uh, as a centre-back, like the actual centre-centre-back, because obviously he's, gonna have, he's tall, so he's going to have good heading. Um, but yeah, you see here, uh, Vidal gives us the lead in the 41st minute. A pretty slow start to this game compared to the last one. But again, he puts us in the lead here. That's his 21st goal in all competitions that he has scored. So even though I've said that Vidal hasn't had the best of season so far, he's still scored 21 goals. Oh my god, my voice. 
went higher then, that doesn't usually happen. Um, he still scored 21 goals uh, in all competitions, that is, I know. Uh, but he still scored 21 goals, and it's only January. So if you look at it that way, we're halfway through a season. He's saying he's going to score 42 goals. That's not exactly a disappointing season, is it? Um, so moving to the second half here, so you had a few more chances here and there. Benzi with a nice kind of like diving header there, but that was easily saved uh, by the Norwich goalkeeper. Uh, moving to the 69th minute here, and my got a text message. Oh, my God, I got a text message there. Um, putting me off of my what I was talking about. Fuck you. Anyway, uh, Rodriguez scored in the 70th minute here to make it one all. Pretty disappointing to be honest, but a, a pretty decent goal, not going to lie. So I whipped out my triple substitution in a hope that I get those fresh legs on, in the hope that I could obviously go out and then get that uh, winner. Uh, and goal in the ball here. So a player that you guys have said that I should start playing more often. And he has a nice shot. I don't know if it's deflected, but he had a shot in the bottom corner that was well saved uh, by Ruddy, the Norwich goalkeeper. And that game actually ended 1-0. Obviously, because it's a obviously because it's a cup game, I'm gonna have to go into a replay for this game. So I'm gonna have to go to travel. I'm gonna have to travel to Norwich away and try and get through on this one. But I need to get through. Like I can't just lose in the cup to Norwich now because I need to get through because I'm pretty sure my board's expectations and or, or objective for the season was for me to actually win a cup. Um, so I can't exactly. Ugh. It's gonna be a bit difficult because I have to do that. I have to win it. Otherwise, I could be in contention to get sacked. Uh, I don't know why, he's not like exactly have done a bad job at me at all, but they decided to set my objectives quite high this season, so if I don't achieve those objectives this season, there's a chance I could be sacked, I don't know how easy it is to get sacked on career mode, uh, but if I get sacked, that literally is this series over, like, it, that, I can't exactly come back and go, oh, we'll start again, because uh, we're way too far in to just start again now, uh, and I don't, I don't think I'd necessarily want to go to a new club after that point onwards, uh, so we'll see what we'll do. Um, but I, 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 I'm a bit pessimistic if you start talking about me getting sacked in the series. It's not exactly like I've done anything wrong so far. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that once I actually, or if I actually get knocked out of the cup. Uh, see, I've got a few offers here for Liam Trotter. And now I've got a one from Newcastle initially. And uh, I rejected it because I was like, oh, no, no, I don't want to send him on loan. I want to sell him. Uh, and I realised I can't actually sell him because he's a new signing for me. Because uh, FIFA automatically assigned him to my team uh, when they realised that I didn't have enough players in my squad. So I can't actually sell him to the end of the season, which is a bit annoying. Cause, so I've sent him out on loan to Blackpool there. Uh, hopefully he might improve a, a slight bit, but I think he's like 28 years old, so he's very unlikely to improve. Um, and we're going to our last game of the episode against Spurs. Now, obviously Spurs are a very strong side, but they're only in 7th so far this season. But I guess, it, when it's, I say they're in 7th, but they're still only 7 points below us. They're not exactly doing too bad. Um, they're just in contention for that uh, Euro Europa League spot. Um, and they started off very well, they started off very brightly, uh, they nearly got a penalty given to them there, I don't know if it was or not, I've, I've included that highlight in just to see if it was a penalty or not, you guys can watch it yourself and we can watch it back together maybe, um, when I say watch it back together I mean you can watch it, in the, like, watch it whilst you're watching it now and I'll watch it back when I upload it as well. Um, Vidal has a shot there, great shot but that just goes uh, just wide, I'm not going to say the word, I'm not going to say the word, the word is, and you know what the word is, it begins with an N and uh, I say it a lot and I can't help but say it. And that sounds like I'm being racist, but yeah, I can't say the word narrowly. I say the word narrowly way too much, according to you guys anyway. You guys like to comment it all the time. Uh, Vidal gets put through here and uh, manages to get part, or use his pace and his strength to get past the defender and uh, slots that into the bottom corner. So that's uh, Vidal's pace and his strength coming into good use there. You'll see, he kind of like, usually you get trapped behind the player, but Vidal is just to get around him and uh, get past him and then scores there to make it 1-0 and put us in the lead. Uh, moving to the second half now and Okore scores a lovely bicycle kick off, off of that uh, tasty free kick at the near post there. And Okore of all people to be scoring a bicycle kick, you'd expect it from like Vidal or Piazza. For some reason, whenever I score a bicycle kick, it's always either Ake, Okore or Zuma. I don't know why my defenders are pretty much scoring me my bicycle kicks. Maybe it's just the way I have my set pieces set up. Uh, obviously, done my triple substitution again there. And uh, you'll see that uh, I bring on LeQuint. Now LeQuint was on the right-hand side here. Does a nice body fake to cut inside. Gets himself into the box. Has a shot and that rifles against the back post. Falls back to him. But uh, luckily, there, uh, unluckily, their defender was there to stop, to stop him from scoring the rebound. Uh, Dassey Hawks runs on the left-hand side there. Plays the ball into LeQuint. And LeQuint has a nice header there. But that is then saved by the goalkeeper. So it's unlucky with LeQuint. He deserves to get a goal uh, in his little feature after he came on as a sub. Uh, but unfortunately that wasn't to happen. Uh, put a, a nice uh, corner in there, my bicycle kick corner, and uh, had a bicycle kick that was then saved. And we're still in the ninetieth minute here. Uh, Rose puts in a ball, I believe. He cut, turns back in himself. No, he doesn't. He passes it to Carroll, who then passes it back to him, who puts a ball in, and that is then saved. Uh, and then falls to Bow, who then passes it to Carroll. Carroll crosses it in, and Adibayor uh, finally scores. Now I was going to say, 
Uh, I remember I was going to say that uh, Ake had a really good game. We kept a clean sheet with Ake in defence instead of Baragi. Uh, but obviously they scored in the last minute and Adewayor beat Ake to the ball, which is a shame. Um, so that's the end of today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out my brand, or not my brand new, my uh, Ultimate Team Series that I'm currently doing, it's an Ultimate Team Series where I, I can only open packs to get players. Um, that's on the left hand side of the screen and as I said about my second channel earlier if you want to subscribe to my second channel then click on the right hand side of the screen and you'll be taken over to that channel you can check it out and I shall see you guys soon in the next episode goodbye